good day. This is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. We have here a smartwatch that is using the very fit application, and we have here our Android smartphone. Okay, in this video, we are going to demo on how to set up a complete setup for the very fit app with your device or with your smartwatch that is using the very fit application so we have here a wearable and we have here our smartphone so we are going to download and install the very fit application and set it up with our smartwatch so if you have any questions regarding the video demo just drop a comment below and we will try to answer your queries if you do have that time okay let's start and download and install the very fit app on our android smartphone so we have here our smartwatch okay so it is asking us to download the very fit app okay app to your phone from google play store or the apple app store we have here the qr code we can scan this one and pair it with a or and download the app directly as you can see here we have the idw19 smartwatch and we have the mac address okay we can scan this one or you can also search it on google play store okay so let's search the name of the application on a google play store so we have here very fit app just search and we have here the support app very fit from smart wearable devices it has over 1 million plus downloads so it's a popular application and it is 128 MB okay so let's download this one tap on install 1 million plus downloads install the app so let's wait so 3% 129 MB so let's wait for the complete download and installation of the application it will automatically install the app once it has finished downloading okay okay we're on 100% it is now installing so let's wait Let's wait for it to finish installing. In just a few seconds, we'll have the VeryFit app running in our smartwatch. Okay, so it's done. Let's open the app. Smart Life Fitness Help. Okay, we have here our first permission. Enable Bluetooth permission. Tap on Yes then let's see here permissions nearby devices it is asking check go back and verifit is asking to turn on bluetooth this will allow your phone to be visible to other devices for 120 seconds allow okay then we have here the ui is our bluetooth activated yes then we have here home exercise device and me home is where you can find the automatic activity tracking exercise for your sports and gps later we'll activate it okay seems like it is asking to us to activate okay let's just activate it gps okay activated and device for your smartwatch as you can see here it is unconnected it found our smartwatch so let's try to remove this one so we can start from scratch delete device we paired it earlier when we tried to test the smartwatch if it's working or not okay so we have here 
Usually, this is the first UI that you will encounter once you pair the smartwatch the first time. No device bound, a device. So, let's add or pair our smartwatch. Okay, tap on this one. Select watch bracelet. Then, while using the app, it's now searching for our smartwatch. So, ID WT19, ID W19, and as you can see here, we have the same MAC address. So, tap on the smartwatch. Let's wait for it to pair with the phone. And binding succeeded. Okay, so, so we are already paired with a smartwatch set okay pair okay so we are done I think bound successful as you can see here so we have here an Alexa let's just skip this one okay we don't have an Alexa enabled device let's activate this one so these are the notifications and other smart functions so we will allow verify to access your contacts allow if you want to save your data you can log in or register in our case we'll just proceed to pairing later and we have here message notifications if you want to receive sms and app notifications you have to enable this one okay so enable, allow notifications, turn on, verify it, activate, allow, go back, then you can pick or choose the app where you want to receive notifications. We'll just leave it as it is, except for this one, let's remove this one, okay, so we have system notifications permission enabled, go back, then call alert let's activate this one allow verify to access access your phone call logs allow it allow verify to make and manage phone calls let's allow it okay and then yes okay seems like we're done so we have here the device we have the watch face market notifications enabled calls enabled alarm clock we did not set an alarm health tracking let's see we'll disable the automatic activity tracking stress enabled spo2 the same way the blood oxygen monitoring fitness enabled science sleep let's activate this one to automatically track our sleep go back okay let's select more settings do not disturb mode, sports type, exercise data view. Seems like everything is okay here. Let's enable this one. Weather notification. Okay, tiles. So we have here the apps. Go back. My location. Or my section unit setup let's see okay we have follow system it's okay we are using the 12 hour system here but if you want to make sure just tap on the 12 hour format even though you change the system here or your time to 24 hour format of your smartwatch or of, or of your smartphone still your smartwatch will be a 12 hour format time as you can see here start of the day let's pick monday go back okay let's go back to our device seems like everything is okay as you can see here okay so we have successfully set our smartwatch with the very fit application okay so this time let's try to download the watch face for our smartwatch Okay, so we are already paired as you can see you know, tap on the watch face market so let's pick a 
free dial or watch face for our smartwatch. We'll use this one. This one is good. As you can see here. Looks beautiful. Okay, so tap on this one. Then free installation. It is now installing. Syncing watch face. 5%, 17%. It's fast as you can see here. Very good. And we have our watch face. Nice. Okay, let's explore the section. We have different categories here. Recommended, new arrivals, features, practical, female, doodle, dark theme, astronaut theme, blooming, robot theme, simple and festival. Okay, on the my section, we have here the watch faces. Then let's go back again and let's look for the custom wallpaper. So we have here our photo. So let's set. Let's look. Select from the album. Allow verify to access photos and media to your uh, on your device. Allow it. Select from album again. Let's pick. Okay, we'll pick this one. Okay, then done. So we have here our watch face. So let's pick a color for our time. So we have here our time. Let's pick a position for our time also. Okay, seems like everything is okay as you can see here. Our custom wallpaper. Then set as current watch face. Okay, it's now installing. Let's see. We'll have a successful installation of our wallpaper or not. Let's wait. Now it is syncing the watch face. Okay, 95, 100%. And we have here our watch face. Beautiful looking watch face here. Nice. Our custom wallpaper with the very fit application okay seems like everything is okay so before we end let's double check our bluetooth connection for our smartwatch okay let's see if the bluetooth connectivity for calls is okay with our very fit app play bluetooth and we are connected for calls as you can see here okay So let's see. Connecting. Double check. Okay. So everything is spared now, as you can see here. So we are connected. So that's it for a war. Very fit app. Pairing it or setting it, setting it up with our IDW19 smartwatch or any other smartwatches that is using the VeryFit app. So if you have any questions regarding the pairing, just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if you have the time. Bye!